Hey guys, so for today's video is going to be a what's on my iPhone and I'm going to show you guys the apps that I have on my iPhone and also show you guys how I edit my Instagram pictures and yeah, so without any further ado, let's just get on with the video. So the phone that I have is the iPhone 7 in this pink color. Before this phone, I had the iPhone 5S. But that phone, my mom just took it away from my grandma, so my parents got me the iPhone 7. The phone case that I have is the leather one, and it's just from Apple, and I got it in a blue color. So without any further ado, let's get started with the what's on my iPhone. My lock screen picture is just me now. He's so cute, right? Tell me yes. Um, so the new iOS is pretty different because if you slide left, there's the camera. Hello guys, and then if you slide right, there's just um, these things I have for calendar, just easy for me to know what events I have, I mean, most of the time I don't have any events because I don't have friends, <sighs> then I have the weather app, and then I have favorites, phone calls, I have my mom, my dad, and my sister, it's just easier for me to call, I don't have to, you know, log in and then phone the contact and you know the drill <laughs> and then I have Shazam I know that Siri can also do the job but um, I just prefer Shazam and then I have Steve which is you, do you guys remember the game that shows up when there's no Wi-Fi in Google on Google well that's the game you can download it go and download it it's pretty fun now I'm gonna log into it and this is the, I have three pages but the main pages that I use are the first the two first and the background picture is just Pogbo Gum and Harry in the show called Please Answer 1988 or Answer Me 1988 I don't remember the name okay I'm sorry if you can hear any background noises there's my family we have some guests in our house right now so it's kind of noisy sorry okay so uh, for the first page, the first line I have is calendar camera photos. I have um, 105 photos in my camera roll because I just got the phone. Um, and then I have maps, weather, clock, iTunes store, notes, um, clock. There's a new feature that is so, so cool, which, which is called bedtime, which you can just adjust the time you want to wake up and then the time that you go to sleep. I usually go to sleep at like 11.30 and wake up at 8.30. Okay, where was I? Okay, so then in the third line I have App Store and then I have Zoe Swell. This is not an app, it's just Safari. It's just because I love her blog and I always want to know what she's sharing, so just have it here so it's easier for me to access. And then I have Settings, Contacts, Safari, Calculator, FaceTime, Messages, Voice Memos, Compass. Um, there's a new thing in Compass. If you slide left, there's a new, this new thing that... I don't know for what it is, but it's fun, like, yeah. And then I have a folder called social media, which I have all my social media apps. So first I have Snapchat. Um, my Snapchat my Snapchat is NoriMC7. Here's the code. You can scan it if you want. Make sure to add me. I post very boring things, but if you guys follow me on there, I will post more things. So yeah. And that's a very bad angle. So yeah. Then I have WeChat, which is um, a social app that I use to chat with my family. And then I have Weibo. This is a th this is the app for me to know all of the trends that is going on in the world and in Asia mostly. And my profile is Nori MC. I just post, repost, and post things. Then I have Twitter. And if you don't follow me on Twitter, it's just Noria Ma. Noria Ma. <laughs> um, I just update you guys on if I upload any videos. Then I have Instagram, um, which is Noria Ma. It's the same as my Twitter. Then I have the V app, which is an app that um, K pop idols use. They just do live streams and just upload. MVs if they are not on um, If they're not on YouTube, then I can watch it in the V app. Okay, then I have Tumblr and again If you're not following me on Tumblr, I feel like the what's on my iPhone video is more of a self-promo video 
hope you guys don't mind. But my blog, well, my Tumblr is called Noriyama, same as my Instagram and Twitter. Then I have this app, which is a music, it's kind of like musically but Chinese. And I downloaded this for the PPAP because I saw it in Weibo and then I was like, oh my god, this is so funny. I also want to recreate it. This app is very, very cool. It's better than Musical.ly because it gives you the lyrics of it so you can like record yourself while looking at the lyrics, which is so helpful. And then I have Musical.ly, which I don't use anymore. Like I just have four privates, which I'm so embarrassed of showing. But this is my music clip. If you want to follow me, I don't I don't upload any because I just don't use anymore. And that's all the social media apps that I have. Next, I have work, which is basically school. Um, I have first Ice Translate. I have Manage Back, which is an app that I use for school. It just tells me the grades that I have and the work that I have to do. And then I have this um, English dictionary that is very very accurate. Like. If I want to know something in English, but I only know it in Chinese, and I, I just use this app. And I have AdSense for YouTube. Um, I don't know if I, what I have this. I don't know why I have this app, because I don't earn any money from YouTube. At the bottom, I just have mail, phone, WhatsApp, and music. You, I think you guys know what this is. And then on the second page, the first folder that I have is games. And I have Candy Crush, 1010, and Steve. And I just play these games when I'm in the bus or in the metro, on the subway, subway, when I'm in the subway. Yeah, well, I think they are fun. And then I have the photo editing app. I have two pages. Well, I have 10 apps. So the first one, the first app that I have is Beauty Cam, which is uh, an app to take selfies. Just makes you look prettier and it has like these cool effects. Let me show you. Um, so yeah, do you see this? I look so much prettier, right? Selfie City, which is basically the same. Then I have May 2, which is um, an app to make you look prettier. Like it's kind of like Facetune, but a Chinese version. And I'm not ashamed. I sometimes do fix up my face if I look bad. If I, I mostly just fix my eyes because my two eyes, the size of it, they are uneven. So I like to have even eyeballs. So I just sometimes I use it. And then I have Snapseed, um, I don't use this quite often. Then I have VSEO Cam, which every YouTuber craves about. It's just an app for editing your pictures. And I just have edited these pictures so far on this phone. Um, I don't add effects mostly to my pictures. Let me show you what I do with my pictures. So for example, um, usually what I do, I'll just choose one effect that I really like. For example, let's just take for example, the, the A9 and then I just put it very like down. So it almost looks like that I don't have any effect on it. And then I just add some contrast. I'm not gonna fix the brightness. And then um, sharpen it. And then put down the saturation. Um, the skin tone, I'm not gonna touch it because it's, um, it's okay. And yeah, and sometimes I just add some green and that will be the photo. Sometimes I just edit it like this so it looks almost natural, you know? Like see, it just kind of looks like if I haven't put on any effect. And then I have Facetune, which is, you know, just to fix your face. Then I have Afterlight, which is a paid app, which I kind of regret now because I don't use it anymore, but before I just used it a lot. But what I don't like about Afterlight is that it makes the photo, like the quality of the photo just goes down so like you can see the difference of it, that's why I don't like it, but yeah, and then I have Path, um, which I use for the filters. For example, this picture. Um, I really like this one. This pic this filter is so cute. And also like I don't know, just very vintage and I really dig in that look, so yeah. And then I have Boomerang in Hyperlapse. Boomerang is for like a gift. So for example, so yeah, that's Boomerang. Then I have the YouTube app. Um, not everything is for YouTube. I don't know, I named it YouTube, but it's whatever. Um, I have YouTube and then I have Studio, which is an app that we as YouTubers use because it's just easier for us to look at our analytics and your comments. So it's just easier for us to manage our YouTube channel. <laughs> and then I have Shazam, 
and then I have videos, SoundCloud. Um, I have a SoundCloud. If you want to know my favorite music, my SoundCloud. How do you show you my profile? Oh, this is my profile. It's um, Nuria Maya thing. I don't know. It's always linked in the description box. But, and then I have Spotify. Don't use it. It's, it's just there because it, I tend to download it sometimes if I want to discover new music. So I was just tired of downloading downloading it every single time. So I just have it there. I feel like I, I can't talk. Oh my god. And the last folder that I actually use is called Health. I have Pink Pad, which is for women. Um, for women, actually. For women. Um, it just tracks the days of my period and it makes me more organized. And in the last um, page I have are just extras. So that is everything that I keep on my phone and I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. And if you guys want more personal videos like this, please let me know in the comments below of what you want to watch. Like any TMI tag or 50, ba 50 bags. I can't talk. 50 facts about me or you know tags and whatnot and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and make sure to follow me on my social media so you guys keep updated with me and my life and yeah make sure to subscribe for more videos and i will see you guys on my next video bye